Remember the Wahoo kicker that was released last year? The Kicker 2020 or Kicker 5? That kicker has a little port to allow for a wired connection. At the time, it did not get much mention because it required an additional adapter that was not available at the time, but that adapter is right here. I have it right here, and uh, let's talk about it. What's up, this is Atark here from smartbytrainers.com and uh, this is the Wahoo Kicker Direct Connect. This tiny little dongle connects to your Wahoo Kicker and hardwire the kicker directly to your network. Uh, most smart trainers, actually all smart trainers use wireless connection to connect to some kind of third-party app using either Bluetooth or NT+. And uh, because NT+, and Bluetooth operate on the 2.4 gigahertz frequency, this means anything transmitting on or interfering with that frequency or have a magnetic field can also interfere with the signal from your smart trainer, causing a lot of dropouts. The most common devices that can interfere with your smart trainer wireless connection is your Wi-Fi network. Also other devices like uh, microwaves, uh, headphones, uh, hearing aids, your own phone, even Wireless baby monitors can interfere with your smart trainer. Something to think about if you're planning on having a baby. These dropouts can be extremely frustrating, especially if you are doing a hard workout or an FTB test, especially, especially if you are uh, racing. I used to experience a ton of dropouts when I use ANT+, but since I switched to using Bluetooth years ago, I no longer experience any dropouts. Uh, Bluetooth tend to be more reliable because it utilizes frequency hopping to avoid interference problems, but that is not the case with everyone. Some people can still experience dropouts with Bluetooth, so it's not a perfect solution. And uh, I am curious, I would love to know how often do you experience dropouts and uh, what do you use? Do you use Bluetooth or NT Plus? Let me know down below. So because of that and the rising popularity of e-racing, uh, the need for a reliable connection has been greater than ever. So Wahoo came out last year with their new uh, Kicker Direct Drive Trainer and included a port for wired connection option, but no way to actually use it at the time because of software compatibility issues and Direct Connect dongle was not available yet. Five months later, the Direct Connect is here and uh, you can get yours for 99 US dollars. And uh, here's how it works. The Direct Connect come in a simple box with the Direct Connect dongle and a quick disconnect cable that connects to the Kicker's RJ11 port. The way it works, you connect the Direct Connect pod to your Kicker using the supplied quick disconnect cable and then you connect the Direct Connect pod to your internet router using an ethernet cable. You can also connect it directly to your PC, but more on that later. So right now the Wahoo Suff app or the Sufferfest is compatible with the Kicker Direct Connect. Uh, Trainer Road, Full Gas and RGT should be compatible very, very soon. But what about Zwift? Zwift is the exception here. I know they are a little behind, but hopefully they will be compatible in a few months and uh, hopefully by the spring. But compatibility with all third-party apps depends on the developer, so it's out of Wahoo's hand at this point. So I tested it mainly with the Sufferfest app, and uh, speaking of compatibility, it is only compatible with the Sufferfest on PC and Mac right now. The iOS uh, version of the Sufferfest is not compatible yet, but should be uh, compatible uh, very soon. Okay, so once all the cables are connected, start the Sufferfest and select a workout. You can add your smart trainer by going to setting, on the top right of the screen, under devices, click on add devices, and it should give you all the devices you have available. You should see your Wahoo kicker listed there with this direct connect icon. Click on it and uh, you should be good to go. That's it, that's all there is to it. Probably the hardest part about this whole thing is finding where your router is and a long enough ethernet cable. Uh, the kicker will broadcast power cadence via the direct connect and is controllable via erg or level mode. The Sufferfest also supports the kicker climb and will give you gradient simulation in, in select Sufferfest workouts and uh, that's why you see this gradient icon here. Now if your internet router is far away and you happen to have a PC with an ethernet port, you can connect the direct connect to your PC. If your PC does not have an ethernet port, you can simply buy an ethernet adapter. Something like this should work for most Macs or any laptop with a USB-C port. Now, a few things to know about direct connect. 
It's only compatible with the latest version of the Kicker. That's the Kicker 2020 or Kicker 5 that was released late last summer. Uh, you can connect the Kicker directly to your PC Ethernet port. If your PC has one, you can also connect it to your internet router. The only advantage you get by connecting it to your router is it will be available on any device that uses your Wi-Fi rather than just being limited to only one PC. If you connect the Kicker to your internet router, the direct connect and device you will be using should be on the same subnet. Uh, when the direct connect is connected to your network, it will receive an IP address. Uh, you can see that IP address using the Wahoo app under sensors, kicker, direct connect. Compare that IP address to the IP address on your PC and uh, you should have the same subnet. So as long as your PC is connected to the same Wi-Fi network, you shouldn't have any issues. But in case you can't connect for whatever reason, that's one thing to look at. Also, make sure you are on the latest Kicker firmware. Uh, most of you will not have an issue with this, but if you happen to have a wireless extender or two different Wi-Fi connections, just make sure the PC and Direct Connect are connected to the same Wi-Fi. Finally, the Direct Connect is one-to-one -one connection, meaning once you are connected to your Kicker on one device, no other application can utilize the Direct Connect option to connect to your Kicker. However, you can still connect to it from different application using Bluetooth or NT+. Basically, if you use Direct Connect on one application, you cannot use Direct Connect on another application if you're planning on running two apps at the same time. Uh, as for latency, Bluetooth is usually in the region of 100 milliseconds for data transfers uh, and around two milliseconds for audio. So we're talking about one tenth of a second delay here and uh, since power is recorded every second, there is a very good chance you will not notice any noticeable improvement. A data transfer uh, latency with NT Plus is lower, but if you experience dropouts, then latency goes out of the window. So to test it out, I did about an hour and 45 minute ride on the Sufferfest and recorded the data using the Direct Connect in Sufferfest and also recorded uh, the activity in Bluetooth and NT Plus. The Direct Connect, as expected, it was very solid connection, no dropouts whatsoever, and just worked as expected. But to give you an idea of how bad my ANT Plus connection, here's the same ride. Started recording in ANT Plus, and as you see, the first interval was plagued with dropouts. After the first in interval, I decided to switch to Bluetooth, and it was solid the rest of the way. But just wanted to show you here the Direct Connect worked as expected. So who is this for? Uh, for a starter, if you do not have the Kicker 5, you can just hit the like button uh, down below and subscribe and uh, move on to the next uh, video. This is not compatible for you. If you have a Kicker 5 and just cannot get a solid connection using Bluetooth or NT+, then this should take care of your problem. This is also great for studios and uh, e-racing events or if you have more than one kicker in your household and have issues with connections, this is a good option for you. Other than that, if you have a solid connection, then I would not change anything. Okay, that's all there is to it. Uh, I'll have a link to the Kicker Direct Connect down in the description if you are interested in getting one. So check that one out and uh, make sure to subscribe if you have not subscribed yet and uh, a lot of good videos coming out soon. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.